Okay. Now, since we only have so much space on the CD, I went ahead and, and, and jumped ahead to the finished product here. Now you'll have this on uh, on the CD for you to take apart and see how it's working and everything. Um, you can see how I added water and did the the sword. The important thing to, to notice in the sword and anything that's reflective is that it has a bit of a horizon line. So I'm reflecting some water here. You're going to notice an inconsistency later, but that's okay. Um, so basically it's reflecting the horizon line of the water. There's the horizon, there's water, there's sky, and that's why it looks like it's a reflective sword. On the goggle here, you'll notice I have a reflection as well, but it's reflecting land. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that's what happens there. But anyway, um, you know, it's all just going through and doing the keep rendering with the smudge tool, going back with some highlights, and I'll show you some extra tricks that I have on this one. I have lots of layers on here. Okay. We have the basic layers. I mean, let's go ahead and just do a quick review of where we're coming from here. Okay, we started with. Ta da! original sketch again which is very cool all by itself we made that into a painting notice I have fairly strong holding line around the outside of the of the the image I just prefer that for something that's stylized like this I, I think it really helps hold it together and such um, that's okay I didn't mean to do that then we have the base color Again, this is just in multiply mode, and I'm just laying in color here. See, multiply mode, 100%. Then we have a highlight layer, which is in normal mode, where I pulled out the hairs, I added some highlights onto her, her uh, leggings that she has on. But you notice that no detail work has been done on the Rhino. That will be in the next normal mode layer. And then I went kind of nuts and did a lot of detail. Look, especially in the skin back here. And that's all with the brush tool. And again, it just depends how carried away you want to get. And then I wanted to add a last minute detail where I just did the checkerboards. Now that's in multiply mode again with a blue and a hard edge brush where I just went in and just drew squares. And it adds a nice little detail touch to his goggles. Again, the other thing I might draw your attention to is in this previous highlight layer now you notice on her hair, and see how much she separates now when I when that highlight is there as opposed to not. And that rim light goes from the hair on down here to the arm and on her leg. And it really pops her. Okay, now let's talk about some extra tricks. So you're done with your image, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy. You're gonna hold basically control A. Okay, that selects everything, so or Apple A, uh, depending if you're on your Mac or not, if you're on a Mac or not, and then Control Shift or Apple Shift C will copy a flattened copy. So we'll copy everything put together in one layer, and that's up here. And now, if you look at it, what I did there was I brightened it up a little bit. I used levels, but I wanted, like I said before, if you're going to experiment on something, make a copy of it. So I made a flattened copy, and I did levels. 
And this is a good idea to do on a lot of your work, just to see, does it look better, a little more contrasty? And essentially what I did was pulled in my brights a little bit. And sometimes pulled in the darks a little bit. And to see how that is. I'm not going to do it because I already previously did it on the piece. Okay, then I thought, okay, looks good. What else should I do? Okay, let's try something else. Um, I went ahead and added a stroke around it. Now, basically all I did was... In multiply mode, I picked that color, and with brush, I just went around it, and then I smudged it and made it raggedy around that edge. And I think it added something to it. Then, I have an overlay layer here. And basically, again, this is the the image is copied and put down there and it's slightly let's go ahead and see if it is yes it is that's without it that's with it and basically it's the it's the image itself put over the top and in lower in overlay mode to the tune of about 21% opacity and again just pops it out a little bit more Whether you need it or not, it's up to you. Then I didn't. I thought the colors could have been a little bit more unified, and, and somehow how you do, do this is just by laying a wash of color. Um, and since I had them in water down below, I wanted a little bit of cool wash on the bottom and warm wash on the top. So I just did a gradient, and that's in color only mode, and it's only 13%. But see how. It really warms him up up there, cools this off a little bit down here, um, and I think it really, really finishes off the piece well. Alright, so you got this thing to take apart. You can see exactly how it's working. You know, all this little detail stuff, like with this color, is just, just drawn in there with a brush tool. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, go to www.digitalarttutorials.com. And we have forums there in case you get lost anywhere along the way. Um, and I'm adding freebies up there. So there's there's cool stuff to download, line art, and things for you to play with. And some little mini tutorials that are short enough and small enough that I can download them. All right. Thanks. And I'll, uh, I'll uh, see you at the next one of these.